The excitement of your wedding has come and gone. You've put on the dress, recited your vows, and you've partied the night away with your newly betrothed spouse. So you think, what comes next? Well, on today's case, Mrs. Martinez says she thought she was stepping into a beautiful life with a bright future with her new husband. But now she realizes she was blinded not only by love, but also by the man Mr. Martinez portrayed himself to be and the life he promised her but has failed to deliver. She says her husband is a financially controlling alcoholic who is constantly tearing her down. She says she's done being his doormat. And if he doesn't take accountability for his actions, they may be coming up on their first and only anniversary. Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Martinez versus Martinez. Thank you very much, Mrs. Martinez, Mr. Martinez. Mrs. Martinez, you say you are tired of being belittled, controlled, and feeling worthless in your marriage. You say you are ready to divorce the defendant if he doesn't acknowledge the damage he's done to you and your family. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Martinez, you want your wife to understand that you have her best interest at heart. You say you are not trying to control her, you are just protecting her. Because she's immature, you don't want people to take advantage of her. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, let's see where we are here. You all have been together for seven years, married for just one year. You have two children together, and Mrs. Martinez, I see that you're expecting another baby. Yes. All right. Mrs. Martinez, why are we in court today? I am here at court today because I am currently pregnant with our third child. Uh, me and Mr. Martinez have been together for seven years, and I believe that in the seven years he hasn't holded down a stable job, he's emotionally abusive, and he has alcoholic problems. And I just want him to know that if he doesn't get his act together, that I am ready to divorce him. So you are very sincere. This takes a lot for a young woman who's been with a man for seven years now um, and pregnant with his third child to tell you, you either get it together, Mr. Martinez, or she's out of here. Did you hear what your wife said? Yes, ma'am. So, what do you say? Well, in all honesty, uh, I am here today to uh, resolve the issues uh, that I have. Do today. you want to save your marriage? Yes, ma'am, I do. All right, then let's see if it's savable, because Ms. Martinez said that um, this has been rocky. Yes. You met seven years ago, actually on the street, right? Yes. Tell me a little about that. Uh, I was actually going to apply for one of those free phones they give, but I did not qualify. So uh, Mr. Martinez happened to be there, and he overheard that I didn't qualify for a phone. So he agreed to put me on his plan, and I found that very generous of him. And uh, before I know it, he told me to, uh, two weeks later to move in with him, and I decided to move in with him and start a relationship with him. Because as I look at how old your children are, Soon as you all got together, then you started having children? Yes. And now you're on your third child. Yes. But you've only been married one year. Yes. Did things change after you got married or was there problems before you were married? Uh, we had took a break when we had started uh, dating and we had broken up and then he contacts me through Facebook. I don't reply to him until like maybe a month later I reply and I go to him and that's how we started the, the arguments again. That This is how the accusation started. He started accusing me of cheating and not uh, being devoted to him. Mr. Martinez, I'm gonna ask you the same question. Why were you so anxious to jump into a whole nother relationship? Honestly, I felt lonely. Uh, I had just broken up. Then I met her, my, my, you know, my wife. I thought, she's nice, why don't we give it a go? Y'all don't understand the concept of dating? I'm talking like... <laughs> yeah. Yes. Just to see if you like that person. Get to know each other, yeah. Y'all jump straight to living together, having a family, and married, and now looking at divorce. Because you didn't do the dating phase. Yes. But now, I know one of the issues you have a problem with, Mrs. Martinez, is this work situation, and you're concerned about your husband's inability to keep a job. Why don't you explain what the problem is? Uh, uh, over the seven years I've met him, he hasn't had a stable job. He gets jobs here and there from an agency, but they're not stable. They're like, they'll call him maybe every once a week. Actually, just recently, I helped him get a job at the 99 cent store. And that day, honestly, he just went there for four hours and didn't go back the next day because he said that he didn't like the way they were treating him. Wait a minute, he ain't been there for 20 minutes. How are they treating him? He, he went there for one day for four hours. 
it's true. She did, she did help me get, get that job. Uh, what was it, the job? What were you going to be doing? I was a, a, a stalker, mm -hmm. and they were training me to be a stalker. That day, uh, honestly, uh, I saw how, how everybody operated. I, be she... I believe he quits jobs because he feels disrespected because he used to have his own business, and he doesn't like taking orders from anybody. So I, th I believe that's why he quits. You know, he finds any little detail to quit a job. I used to have a car dealership a long time ago. Uh, I started from the bottom, and that's what I, I know how to do. I had a little bit of savings, and um, I went through my savings, and I figured, you know, uh, I'm going to take a little break. You know what, Mr. Martinez? Not for nothing. Yeah. But I have two degrees and a good job. I can't afford to take a little break. I'm so just tired of him, like, you know, not, not working because of that. We lost our apartment. They raised our, they raised our rent. And we're currently living in a hotel right now. Mr. Martinez, here's my question. Were you being paid for those four hours that you were on the computer or whatever you were doing? Yes. The reason I'm, I'm questioning you so tightly on this issue is because you're the one with two children at home. Yes, ma'am. With another one on the way. And I don't know very many men that quit a job knowing that these are their obligations and knowing this is what they took on. So now you have to go home and tell your wife, I don't have the job. He says he's not a guppy like other people. That, that's for suckers. That's not for him, having a regular, stable job. And you're talking about what the guppies are doing. Guess what? The guppies are eating. So how do you feel pride as a man telling your wife that you're not willing to hold down a, quote, nine to five because you don't want to be a guppy, you need to make big money? Sometimes when we fight, we're in the car and he starts calling me names. She threatens in the car going 50, 60 miles an hour well, to jump out. Well, if you're uh, in the car out. cursing her out and calling her names, I don't want to be in there with you. That only happened a, uh, a couple times. The one time you called me a slut or a hoe is the last time. Do you see what I'm saying? Because what you're not going to do is disrespect me. I've been maintaining myself for the past seven years. My kids have clothes in their bags. They've never suffered. They live in a hotel, day. sir. You don't have a stable place. Mrs. Martinez, is that a stable place for you to live in a hotel? No, that is not a stable place. How many rooms do you live in? It's a motel. It's just a room and a bathroom. How long have you been living in a hotel? We've been living in a hotel for about almost six, seven months. Is that satisfactory for you? I'm gonna ask you. Yeah, well... Is that satisfactory? Is that what you want? No, ma'am. Well, the hotel has a uh, kitchen. It's fully equipped. I mean, it's just not one... It's, I mean, it's just not a room. Uh, it's, it's just a place where you it don't want to It sounds like you got excuse after excuse. What's worrying me... He, he, Ms. Well, Ms. Martinez talking about this alcohol problem. Yes. Yes. He tends to drink, and when he drinks, he gets... A, he gets emotion... He gets verbally abusive with me. That's not true. Honestly, I do drink, and I'm not emotionally... Uh, called, I don't, I don't tell her things. He calls me a slut. He calls me an <laughs> HO. He calls me all kinds of names. That's pretty bad, if that's accurate. I don't get drunk. I just get... You could say I get buzzed. One time, but we, I we, don't were at the, we were at his, uh, we were at his brother's uh, daughter's birthday. And I guess he had offered one of the one of the guys beer, and I guess his daughter had got upset because he was a recovered alcoholic. But he started fighting with me because I was telling him that you know why why would he offer them beer and everything. He got mad at me at home and started calling me names, and he was so mad that he he ripped his finger apart and he had to like go get stitches and everything because of, of of the drinking. Uh, there was a glass cup on uh, on one of the tables. And I was so mad, I, I grabbed the cup and I just, I squeezed the cup. So I, you know. broke a glass in your own hand. Yeah, I... Because you were angry. I grabbed it. And honestly, karma got me pretty, pretty fast because I actually split my... It was a pretty bad cut. And I had to go to the hospital and uh, get stitches. But again, your wife says that's what made her worried because that's not the behavior of somebody stable that she can... Uh, rely upon. Sometimes when we fight, uh, we're in the car, and he starts calling me names. And uh, I decide to step out because, you know, I sometimes feel like I don't want to hear him call me names. And sometimes um, he just leaves me there. 
he that, just, he that's leave, not true. He just leaves me there stranded uh, and that's not does, true. doesn't even. He calls me, but to call me names, he he doesn't call me to your, worry your, your about. Your Honor, me. Um, the times that I have left her, she. There's a God somewhere. She steps out of the car and threatens, even when I'm in the car going 50, 60 miles an hour, she threatens to open the uh, the uh, door well, to jump out. Well, if you're uh, in the car out. cursing her out and calling her names, I don't want to be in there with you. You call her a slut, you call her a hoe? That that, that only happened a, uh, a couple of times. The one time you called me a slut or a hoe is the last time. Do you see what I'm saying? Because what you're not going to do is disrespect me if I'm your wife. I'm the mother of your children. Well, in my defense, Your Honor, she's done worse things than call me names. But and I that's why I am, and that's why I do what so I do. So now we're getting to the real issue. I kind of feel stuck with him because he tells me, if you leave me, I don't want to see the kids because their mother is a chinning slut. I have told her in a better way, if that's what she really wants. No, you wants. didn't. You're lying to me. You called her a slut, you called her a hoe, and you said all those nasty things. Own it. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. I mean, I understand from my case file that you say you suspect that your wife was cheating on you. This is how it happened, Your Honor. I went to jail for almost less than a month over some warrants, some old warrant that I had and some tickets. And I come out of jail and she cheated on me with one of her coworkers. And you know this to be fact? Yes. Mrs. Martinez? Yes, I confessed to him because the manager had told him from the building that uh, some guy was coming over. And that time, yes, I did cheat on him. I was at work. I wasn't feeling good that day. I drank a couple beers. Uh, there was this guy there who was being nice to me. And she claims it was only one time. Yes, I did cheat on him. But I always told him, he knows the truth. Why did he marry me? He decided to marry me after he knew I cheated on him. I've always, he always brings that up to my face and everything. And I tell him, you know what? If you're not happy, you could leave. You and really and that's another thing, Your Honor. She always tells me, "Wife, well, if you're not happy, just leave. I mean, like, why, oh, yeah, why is I'm he going to be leave. emotionally abusing me if he's not happy? If he's not happy with who, who I am, if he knows what happened, why is he still there, like, attacking me? Mrs. Martinez, I have never seen somebody look so unhappy right now. You look so unhappy and so beat down, like your spirit is gone. He's just tearing me down, and I, I just can't take it anymore. Mrs. Martinez, do you have options? You live in a hotel with two children, one on the way. Literally could happen at any moment. Well, currently, Grandma, she's, she's taking care of them while we get an apartment. Mrs. Martinez, is this the life that you want for yourself and your children? No, I don't. What do you need to stay in this marriage? What do you need to hear? What do you need to see? Specifically, what do you want? I need to see him Get, get a job or, or, if he, or, or, or for him to be straight up with me that if he's not going to change it, then I'll, I'll go. I told him that as soon as I give birth, I'm going to go get a job because he tells me, don't worry, I'll go get one. But I'm about to give birth and he, I don't see him doing any progress. Mr. Martinez, Mrs. Martinez is very clear. If you don't make a real change, and I'm not talking about you, him, and hawing. If you don't make a real change, she's out. Are you prepared to go and do what is necessary to sustain this family. Yes, ma'am. I, I yes, kind of ma kinda feel stuck with him because, you know, he tells me, if you leave me, I don't want to see the kids. He's like, hey, you tell them why, why their father left because his, their mother is a chinning slut. And, and no, no, that's not true. I've told and her. And every time we fight, he I, tells me, go look for your baby's daddy because I'm currently pregnant. And I've you know what? told that's her. Just, that's just really disrespectful towards me. I've told her in a better way that. If she wants to leave, if that's what she really wants... No, you wants... didn't. You're lying to me. Don't do that. You did not. I can tell you right now, this child is not sitting here crying because you told her in a better way. You called her a slut, you called her a hoe, and you said all those nasty things. Own it. Own it. Okay? I did. Don't look me in the face and lie. Don't I lie. Did. I, I, I know actually, you did. I did. This girl's standing up in here crying, beat down, no self-esteem. I understand. Yes. She stepped out of your relationship while you were in jail. By the way, 
your behind shouldn't have been in jail. I don't want to hear nothing about no warrants. I don't have no warrants. Robert, Honestly. you got warrants? No. Thank you. You made some bad choices. And I she made a bad choice. She came to you as a woman and told you that she made a bad choice. You pretended to forgive her and decided to marry her. I think you married her so you'd have something over her head. She needs to throw in your face that you're an irresponsible drunk who don't pay his warrants on time. Would, she, would you feel good about that? Would you feel good if that's the way she talked about you? You gonna call her a slut and a hoe? You think that's a good thing? No, Your Honor, it's not. So don't look at me and say you're prepared to do what is necessary unless you're actually prepared. You have to own what you've done, sir. Yes, ma'am, I You understand. beat this young lady down emotionally. And if you're not going to forgive her and move past that, then let her go so she can get somebody who will treat her with love and respect, who will get a job, will show up, who won't get an attitude talking about, I deserve respect. You don't deserve respect. One does not demand respect. One commands respect. You don't command respect until you've done something to earn it, sir. I understand. Well, in my defense, I always treat people with uh, respect everywhere I go. Even no, you weren't I, being very respectful to me when you just lied and told me that you didn't call that be, child his name. It could be a bum on the street and I'll still respect Sir, that don't work for me. Him. I mean, I can understand that you were a car salesman because you slick as a mug, okay? But that don't work for me. Been there, done that, bought the T-shirt, saw it on Oprah. Nah, -uh, no, don't work for me. Mrs. Martinez, baby, do you want resources so that you can be on your own, or do you want to give this marriage a real try? I'm not sure what I want. What I want for you is to become the whole woman that you deserve to be. And I can't tell you for certain that this is the man no. that's going to give you that. It's time for us to give you some resources. My court <laughs> staff will give you some additional resources to help you <laughs> Make decisions on your own if that's what you want. Even if that means you need some time by yourself and your children so that you can get your mind right. But you should not feel like you don't have an option. Yes. Mr. Martinez, I'm going to tell you right now, this young lady is going to take a moment for herself. No problem. She's going to take a moment for herself. And you're going to use that time to try to figure out if you really and truly are the man you claim to be. Because I haven't seen any evidence of it today. And the evidence will be, the proof will be in the pudding. Get a job, keep that job, and show her that you can be the husband and father. And let me tell you another thing. You call her out of her name again, you have every right to tell him to take his pictures and his plants and get out of your house. Do you hear what I said? Yes. Stand up for yourself. Don't you lay down on the floor and be a doormat anymore. Take your name back. Take yourself back. And grow some self-esteem. It's time for you to be the woman you need to be. What a jerk. You know what? We've been, how many cases? Who knows what number? I'm pissed. I'm looking at her and I'm thinking to myself, if my daughter gets that agent, she deals with some guy like this? Nah, it's not happening. You're gonna end up catching a case. Oh my God, I'll be, oh, I don't even know what to say. I know, I mean, I do not want you in a courtroom I'm, other than when you're working. <laughs> I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, this young lady has been so beat down by her self-esteem. Right. And he's blaming her for every part of their uh, demise, when in reality, he's just an older man who groomed a younger woman right. to be reliant upon him. Yeah, I mean, listen, the, the only way I could say it is just like he would. Honestly, Your Honor. Oh, Lord. They don't belong together. If he had said that one more time, I wanted to throw that gavel. Mm.